Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. I'm in Paris at the, uh, at the Museum of Music. And uh, <clears throat> this exhibit here is the, uh, mostly these are Erard and Broadman pianos. This is, this is where the modern piano was invented. And when I say the modern piano, I'm, I'm distinguishing that between, uh, between the pianos used um, in, the, uh, in the 1700s, which, which they, they definitely had a uh, kind of a harpsichordish kind of a sound, even though they, they had an expressive, um, an expressiveness that, that harpsichords didn't have, they still had a slightly, they, they, they had sounded much more like a harpsichord than a modern piano does. Um, in fact, the, the inventor of the, the, the piano, he called it, the, tr the translation from Italian, this was in 1700, he calls it the harpsichord with soft and loud. Um, and then, uh, anyway, about 120 years later is when Erard invents the double escapement action, which gives you much more expressiveness and much better repetition. And these are some of the, uh, some of the pianos from that era. So there's, there's an Erard, and here's, here's another one from the Erard brothers. This is 1802, which by the way, is the, uh, is the year, I think it was, let's see. Yeah, he was, he was manufacturing all of these in Paris. Here's, here's a Broadman which he, Broadman has, has a lot to do with uh, the development of the action. He's an English, an English piano maker. Um, a lot of the pianos that we're looking at, that we're going to be purchasing here in Paris are, are, are our pianos from, from, of course, after this era, uh, maybe about 100 or so years, 120 years even, after this era. So, uh, uh, but uh, Erard gets credit for essentially inventing the modern piano.